Once you begin a project or project template, you want to ensure that the mechanical settings are adjusted to match preferences and company standards. Revit has mechanical settings which control a variety of analysis and graphic display settings. The duct settings can be accessed in the Mechanical Settings dialog. You can access the mechanical settings by clicking the dialog launcher on the HVAC panel, mechanical panel, or plumbing and piping panel. Each one opens the mechanical settings dialog. You can also access the mechanical settings from the Manage ribbon in the Settings panel by expanding the MEP Settings button and choosing Mechanical Settings. In this dialog, the various settings appear in the pane on the left in a tree structure. When you select a setting on the left, the available options populate in the pane on the right. The first settings are for hidden line. Here, you can select whether or not to draw MEP hidden lines when objects cross in two-dimensional views. Then you can control the line style by clicking in the value field and expanding the drop-down. Additionally, you can control the inside and outside gaps, along with the single line gap. Next, click Duct Settings to switch to those options. Here, you can choose whether or not to use the annotation scale for single line fittings and then specify the duct fitting annotation size. The duct fitting annotation size controls the plotted size of fittings and accessories drawn in single line views. It is also maintained regardless of the drawing scale. The air density and air viscosity are used in determining duct sizing. You can also add a symbol for the rectangular duct size separator, rectangular duct size suffix, round duct size prefix, round duct size suffix, duct connector separator, oval duct size separator, and oval duct size suffix. Then you can enter a duct rise drop annotation size. Next, Select Angles. The options here allow you to specify the fitting angle that Revit will use when adding or modifying duct. Realize that this is not the angles at which ducts can be created. Instead, it is the angles between connected ducts. In other words, the angles of the fittings. You can choose Use Any Angle set an angle increment, or use specific angles. With Use Any Angle selected, Revit will use any angle supported by the fittings used for the duct type. With Set an Angle Increment selected, you can specify an angle. And with Use Specific Angles selected, you can turn on or off the listed angles, but you cannot modify the angles. When you select Conversion, the available options control how the duct systems will be routed using the routing solutions. You can control the system classification using the drop-down at the top. The available options are Supply Air, Return Air, and Exhaust Air. The main settings allow you to control the duct type and offset four main duct runs for each of the system classifications. When you click in the Duct Type value field, you can expand the drop-down and select any of the available duct types that are loaded into the project. Then the offset is simply the height of the duct above the current level. The branch settings are very similar. Only you can also control the flex duct type and maximum flex duct length for each of the system types. Moving on, you can control the sizes for rectangular, oval, and round ductwork. With any of these selected on the left, you can see the duct sizes available. 
You can control which sizes can be specified from the options bar when creating ductwork, and also if a certain size will be used if Revit automatically sizes the ductwork. Take note that for rectangular and oval, only one size is shown. This is used for both the height and width. You can also delete a size or select New Size to display the duct size dialog that you can use to add a new size. Lastly, when you select Calculation, you can see the calculation method used for duct straight segment pressure drop calculations. When you expand the calculation method drop down, you can choose the method you want to use. Third party developers can create additional calculation methods and install them as add ins. If you install one of these new methods, you can select it here in the calculation method drop down. Below the drop down, you can see the equation and the variables used to calculate the pressure drop.